okay hi everyone uh, so today i am going to show you how to connect uh, we are going to start jdbc and we are going to show you how to connect from java to the database so the database i'll be using is is uh, hsql or hypersql so how we are going to be connecting we, are, we have a java application and then in the middle we have a driver and that driver will help us connect uh, between uh, the java application and the database so let's see how we do that how we make use of the driver and we how we, and how do we make the connection between the database and the java application so first things um, so this code is very small so all we need to do is loading the class getting the connection so in that connection we get the connection using the url uid and uh, the password and that's it so just two lines of code and we make the connection but there are many things going on over here and i will uh, especially here and i'll explain how we and explain what is happening the internal working since uh, that is more important so uh, let's let me start the db um, uh one second so for so i, I have a db the hsql db so this one i found it in the hsql uh, um, uh, documentation so i won't be showing how to install it. it's pretty easy so just go to hsql download the zip file and uh, inside the zip file you will be having the documentation inside a bin or somewhere so just get the documentation and uh, then in the inside that only they told me to run this database so to activate the database this is the command and to activate the ui uh, this is the command ui means like you can see the database tables columns and all so i'll show you that also so first let me run this one I'll just paste it over here <laughs> okay so i need to go to that place i think so cd space uh, just let me go to that location i'll go to bin i think it's there what error okay uh, no class was found so i'll just go to bin ls maybe not bin i should go to library okay so this is that jar we have over here so i think we need to run that command over here yes guys it's starting uh, it has all the information and it has all the port uh, port number 9001 so so our db is now activated okay so since our db is activated let's 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 see the gui where did it go okay so let's uh, see the gui let's create a new Okay, so I need to go to bin cd space cd space h yes cd space h c 
see this space bin so it needs a swing data manager swing so here I'll just paste it not uh, find or load main class data base manager swing <sighs> uh, yeah wow oh, database manager okay database manager dot swing is not here mm, I'll go to library CD space lib it's not here also how did I run it that day okay so guys it ran guys okay alright but how okay it requires that hsql as you can see guys this uh, this command requires hsql db dot jar and that jar is over here okay all right so that jar is over here so it is running that jar so hence this one open so okay nice so this is the db okay so over here uh, over here we can just add the columns add the rows and all right so we can write that update query and all so that's not our interest now so our goal is to connect to this db so after activating this uh, db you don't need to activate the gui uh, gui is not necessary but you just need to run the db you just need to run the first command so now since uh, db is running and uh, these are the two lines of code you have to add this one is just for confirmation so let's run this and check if it is connecting or not okay guys it is not connecting hmm database alias does not exist so let me go back let me go back What I should give database series? Let me check the previous command. XDB, should I give it XDB? This is the alias, it seems. it start okay it started I think I don't know what name I gave over here I think the name is a space I okay okay I don't know okay I'll look into this command later mm. I didn't give a name right guys first it was XTB but I deleted that STB so I don't know it took it as a space I think I think the alias is now a space okay anyways let's check now since the db is up and running yes guys so over here as you can see the connection is established so here i'm just printing that connection to string to string this variable dot to string so to string i think is not overridden so it is printing that fully qualified class name okay so now how, how did we do this one so let's understand the internals so so the prerequisites to connect to a java application to the db is you need to load the driver class okay 
so here the driver class is like third party so let's, keep, let's just keep that in mind and then ask the driver manager to establish the connection so we need to load the driver class and then we have one more guy called driver manager and we communicate to the driver who in turn communicate to the database so we communicate to the driver via the driver manager that's most important you need to keep that in mind we don't communicate directly to the driver so it's analogously like somewhat related to like this one so if you're in an uber if you're in an uber you don't like talking to the driver right so what if uh, ideally like you can just communicate with him on the phone you can just send him a chat and he does like uh, roll down the window roll up the window whatever so like it will avoid uh, you know uh, uh, yeah so many people don't like talking so anyways like if you send a chat message so to the uber driver so if you send a message to the driver via the driver manager that's also a way of communicating right so in fact that is a better way of communication for some people so the analogously like uh, we do the same thing here we communicate to the db using the driver but not directly with the driver but via the driver manager so we have three entities over here one is uh, one is uh, d uh, one is the java application and uh, this is the first entity okay next entity is uh, the driver and uh, next entity is the db so we are communicating to the driver via the driver manager and that in turn will communicate to the db so the prerequisites to communicate is first we need to load the driver class and we need to ask the driver manager to establish the connection these are the things we have to do now so keep that in mind so first thing this is very important we need the jdbc url okay so this is in our case this one is a jdbc url but the jdbc url will be of this form so jdbc colon this is the driver specific part so whatever the driver specific part comes over here and next this one is the ip address this one is the port and this one is the db instance name so so the example of uh, jdbc url is this one so jdbc so next this one is a driver specific part okay so uh, and uh, next uh, this one is uh, that localhost we can give localhost colon 9001 but fun of this one is the jdbc url okay so next this one is the user id so how do i how did i get this how did i get this so nothing so just uh, go over here okay even whatever in your equivalent db also you can do the same thing so inside connect i will choose server choose server guys if you are using hsql so over here see i got the driver specific uh, the driver is this one here i got the url that same url i just pasted it over here okay so here i got the url and then here i got the user id it says yes yeah, i haven't changed it to it was by default sa and uh, this one is the password password is empty so i have also given it as empty so and then this one is the driver uh, the driver this one uh, this is the driver so here just add it over here okay so this is the class which we want so if you are using an uh, uh, if you are using an uh, oracle so you will be having that uh, driver specific part over here whatever that driver oracle something so this is the fully qualified class name okay so that's how i got these values so now what is happening over here is first thing we need to load the class okay so loading the class loading means from the hard disk we load it to the memory so whatever we need this class okay so this is the fully qualified class name we need the class to be loaded to memory so we are first loading that one that is step one okay next uh, driver driver manager we are asking the driver manager to get the connection and to get that connection we are loading the uh, we are giving the inputs url user id and password 
so using this get connection it will give us one connection object so once we do this we are connected okay so class loading okay so let me come back from the beginning so why do we have to load this class so why we are loading this class we are before the explain that one so so you need this one has to be get detected guys your program has to detect this class okay right so in order to for your program to detect this class um, you need to add it to the class path so in intellij it is simple you just go here okay so if whatever you want to add you press the plus button find that uh, find that whatever jar you want over here and press ok so that will show up over here and then press the ok button and it will come to the it will get added to class path so you so if you don't try to class path but even if you add the fully qualified class name over here you will get one class not found exception so uh, keep in mind that you need to add that one to the uh, class path so okay now coming back over here we said we are loading the class so why are we loading this class we are doing class loading over here because we just want the driver this one we don't want to create a new object or something we just want the class to get loaded to to get loaded to the memory that's it so you might ask why are we not uh, since we just want the class why why don't we do something like this uh, why don't we do something like a uh, person okay uh, hsql hsql is equal to new hsql okay so why are we not doing this so we are not doing this because it is also class loading happens over here also but we don't do like this because first of all we are hard coding so this class will heavily depend on this object created over here so we, it's like hard coding so next time if you want to change to oracle you again have to come and change it over here so class loading happens over here also and it will work but it is not a good practice so likewise you might say that okay we are hard coding the driver over here also right because driver again it is a string so yeah we are hard coding but in this is a better way because instead of uh, taking the string you can uh, read from a file also so you can give whatever you want so that's why we prefer doing loading the, so that's why we prefer class loading okay so we don't want to create the object explicitly so we prefer class loading okay so again but what's the big deal okay we loaded the class but why is it really required so it is required because when we load the class okay when we load the class when this one happens the uh, the driver gets registered to the driver manager okay you need to keep th that in mind so the driver will get registered to the driver manager when you load the class again how does that happen so here you are just executing you are just loading a class how does this relate to creating the relation between the driver manager it's not you don't see any driver manager code over here at all it's just a one line code but how does the driver get registered to the driver manager so that happens that happens because this class has a static initializer so whenever we load the class that static in initializer will get uh, uh, will get fired and uh, then uh, that jdbc so that driver which is this one so code is there inside that static initializer to init to to register that uh, driver with the driver manager so that's why that's the most important reason we need to load the driver class so because it has a static initializer 
so that's why we do it so like I said uh, that's it so that's why we load the class so I try to explain this in detail hope you understand so if you are new to Java I don't I mean you need to go through a lot before you see these videos because I have using there are some few basic Java things you need to know before you learn about all this okay so like I use terms like static initializer and all those things so we need to know about them so yeah anyways um, go through those preferably go through those things before you see this but anyway if you go ahead and watch this I'll try to explain as many as much simple as I can make it so keep these things in mind so you might learn it eventually in the end so we are loading the class for two reasons we are loading it from uh, to put it from hard disk to memory and the second reason we are loading is because we need to get this driver has to get registered with the driver manager and it will get registered to the driver manager when this is loaded because there is a static initializer present in this driver class so that's why we are loading this one so and then and then nothing so once the driver so after loading we ask the driver manager get connection and it will return that connection so again you might have one more question so what if we have one more thing something like this string driver is equal to string driver 2 is equal to something a fully fully qualified class name of oracle oracle so in that case so what will happen if i do something like this that's not for name driver 2 so let's see what happens so driver 2 will get loaded and driver will also get loaded but how will this driver manager know which one to load how will the driver manager know which one which driver to choose from both of them are in the memory now from hard disk to memory both of them are there but how will this driver manager know which one to choose from so what will the driver manager do so try to answer this if you can so if you uh, so here is the answer so how will the driver manager choose between the okay should i load should i take this driver or should i take this driver so the driver manager how it will choose it is by looking at this url so this driver manager will have this so this url like i have will have this driver specific part right so this driver manager will go to this driver okay is this driver specific part does it match to you no it doesn't match so it will leave this one so does this uh, driver it will leave this one next it will come over here does this driver specific part match to you if it matches yes okay it matches and then it will establish this connection so that's how this connection is getting established by the driver manager so this is how we are able to connect from the java application to the db we are the driver using the driver manager so that's it guys so this is how we are connecting to the driver manager i mean to the db we are the driver manager so over here uh, driver manager is of uh, sql class uh, so here we need to catch these two exceptions so this uh, this is the new syntax uh, so or uh, it's not like a uh, that uh, logical or so you can catch either this one or this one and uh, either of this you can catch using this new symbol thing so and then here you are printing the stack trace so it's uh, so if you don't catch these two errors you need to throw them or some or you need to handle them like this or else it will throw in a syntax error so that's it guys this is how we connect to the db uh, thank you for watching